We are cousins, but I think we're more like sisters because we're so close to each other. You got two chickens. <laughs> I don't even know how to cut the, like, in pollos. Being a first generation student, we don't really have like anyone else that went to college or who to ask questions about. Honestly, college was really not in like my mind. I didn't really think like, oh, college is gonna be a possibility. Like I kind of was like, oh, like I'm not capable of going to college. But of course I always had these two by my side, always going to school and getting good grades and showing me like, you know, it's possible, like we can do this. For me, I think like I did want to go to college because my parents did push that a lot on us and I knew I was able to like school wise and everything but I was just more worried about like the financial side because it is really pricey. I was looking at my options for colleges around here and PCC was my best choice because Future Connect was going to cover everything and I was going to get like a coach and someone to help me and be there to support me. I think for me, PCC essentially like represents, I think, opportunity. My first term I got like pretty much all C's and that was really devastating for me. I really felt like, you know, this is not for me, like I'm not meant to be here. Um, and Future Connect, you know, my coach really, really made it clear like you are meant to be here, you are capable. And I think um, if I probably wouldn't have gotten that pep talk, I probably wouldn't be here anymore. PCC, I think, has meant a lot because my first year, I found out I was pregnant. It was super scary. I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, I was really, I knew one thing. There was one thing I actually knew. I was like, I'm going to do college. I'm going to finish college. I started. I'm going to finish no matter what. How? I had no idea how. And then I went to Future Connect. And the like main priority was for them to know that I was going to be OK. PCC has helped me build connections as well as opening like new opportunities because we were able to apply to scholarships and transfer over to PSU. Right now we're all at PSU studying criminology and criminal justice. So I would like to support like youth at risk with things that are challenging and be able to help them and support them in ways that I don't know, maybe someone hasn't been able to be there for them. I decided to take the legal route because I feel like that's really somewhere where I could make a huge impact. I feel like I've always been very vocal. I've always had to advocate for my mom and I, you know, since she's a single mother and um, her dominant language is uh, Spanish. Growing up, I saw a lot of my cousins be a part of like the juvenile justice system, and I felt like they didn't always get like the support that they needed. Um, and I feel like, you know, as an attorney, I could be there to, you know, support other youth. I saw my older brother and then my younger siblings go deal with the system and um, there was areas that needed improvement. I currently work at an assessment center with juveniles and it's definitely helping me look at where I can possibly help and it's super important to have someone who represents the community and have someone there who looks like you or just is able to talk to parents and have that same like cultural background and be able to understand the youth or the family and be able to help and support. I think getting the money from Future Connect made a huge impact on us we probably wouldn't be where we are now if we wouldn't have gotten that funding. Money is like a big barrier that a lot of us are facing and if we were to have more help with scholarships and stuff a lot of us would be willing to attend college and take the steps to like having a better brighter future. Our families are really proud of us and how far we have come. One big thing that keeps me going is my daughter and knowing that it's just us and I'm going to do it for us and I'm going to be able to help her along the way and like be essentially like a role model and be able to help like she's going to be able to turn to me and be like hey mom can you help me with college and she's going to have someone. I can't wait to get my bachelor's and like walk the stage you know and see my mom like be super proud I'm usually I don't like when she cries when she's happy but I want like I'm not going to be mad if she cries when I get my bachelor's because I probably will too so. <laughs> Thank you.